Hello beauties, so here I am doing my very first voiceover. So yeah, please bear with me, it may be a little crazy. So yeah, I'm starting off by showing you guys what I will be using throughout the video. And if I do use anything else, I will be showing it of course before I use it. So this is the long awaited recreation series that I will be starting. And as you guys can see, I am prepping my nails, but I will be putting the inspo somewhere on the screen once I figure out how to do that. This is also a collab. I am doing a collab with a lovely lady on here. If you guys can please go check her out. Her name is Just Misia here on YouTube. As always, I will put her somewhere on the screen as well as link her down below so you guys can show her some love and support. And of course, I had to start this recreation series with my girl, Portia. If you guys do not know who she is, please go check her out. I will link her down below. I'm sure you guys know who she is, though, because you guys, this girl is fire. Her work is absolutely amazing. So like I said, I had to start this recreation series with one of her creations. I've been wanting to do this for so long, you guys. And I have been slacking. I have been just postponing everything and trying to not do much because of so much going on at home. But hopefully I can get some stuff done. And now that I'm trying to get this voiceover stuff down, I could probably do some more, you know, content because I know how to do some voiceovers. So here I am prepping my nails and... Most of this stuff will be kept in real time just so that I can show you guys, um, of course, how I prep, but also have more time to, you know, do my voiceover and get the hang of things. And of course, I will probably speed up some things that are just like too much or like repetitive. But for the most part, this video will be kept in real time. I hope you guys are all doing well. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you have not already. And I hope you guys like stuff like this. Please let me know if you guys would like to see more videos like this. I've never done videos like this. Like, you guys have never seen me actually do anything on my hands. Most of the time, it is on a press-on nail. And before I even came back... I don't think I ever really showed you guys anything of me doing my nails. <laughs> Everything was like basically haul videos and of course my swaps. So now I want to get into doing like tutorials and stuff like that because that's what I'm into right now. I also wanted to get into some character art so I'm super excited about that. Wish me luck on that because oh my goodness it is hard and it is very time consuming. But anyways. Yeah, let me know what you guys would like from me. Here I am dusting off my nails. Please excuse my crusty nails. I do not know where my cuticle nippers are, so they do kind of look a little crazy. So I'm sorry about that. I'm using Young Nails Protein Bond on my nails so they can last a little longer. I've seen that using this has definitely helped me as well as washing Portia. Oh my goodness, you guys. Watching her videos have helped me out so much. It is absolutely insane. So thank you so much, Portia, for all that you do, for all your videos, your tips, and your tricks, because girl, they are definitely working out for me. Using my Nail Glam Brush On Glue, I do have a code with her. I will link down below, as always. Anything I do forget to say in videos, I put in the description box so make sure you always check the description box and these tips are from acrylic creamery i won them in a giveaway i did do the video i have to still edit but i am loving these the length is absolutely amazing unfortunately i did cut them down because you know i am a housewife so i do work with my hands a lot and Unfortunately, I cannot have nails that long, but I definitely do want to create a set, like a pop-up method set with these amazing long tips because they are absolutely amazing, you guys. Look at how long these things are. 
Like, oh my goodness. She does have a Etsy shop, so please go check her out if you are interested in anything. She has tips, you know, charms, acrylic, monomer, brushes, you name it, she has it. So again, I will link everything down below as always. Please go check her out. Show her some love and support. She is also on Instagram. So I will put her somewhere on the screen as I usually do. And as well down in the description box as per usual. So yeah, I just realized that I did glue one of those tips on extra crooked. So yeah, don't come for me. Please don't. <laughs> eh, this video is insane. And next time to cut them down, I definitely have to invest in one of those, like the magnets, because I cut them down all crazy in different types of ways. So again, don't judge. I was just trying to hurry up and get this video done. And my kids were all in the background. So yeah, it's just all... Uh, a hot mess with this part because I was just cutting them. I do go ahead off camera and fix them a little bit so they don't look too wonky. But yeah, trust the process, you guys. Just trust the process. So like I said, I do go ahead and fix them off camera. And here I am showing you guys the length that I have for the moment. And unfortunately, I don't know how, but I missed... The, I lost the footage of three fingers, you guys. Three of my <laughs> fingers I do not have for you guys. So, yeah, I wanted to leave those fingers in on purpose, like, because those fingers were not the business. Like, I used the Young Nails um, Speed Core acrylic for that, for the three first ones that, of course, you guys did not see. And then I switched it out to not polish because that's just what I'm used to doing. And it's super easy to use, which is what I will continue to use. The only reason I did not use it from the beginning is because I did not have that much left. So I was trying to try out the Young Nails one. But yeah, it was just not working for me. For some reason, it was not working. Like, I have to get that liquid to powder ratio down. I also think it could be the... Mia Secret Odorless Monomer because it works absolutely great for me. It, it's low odor, like it doesn't smell at, bad at all. It just, like with certain acrylic, it makes it super runny or like super gummy. Like, yeah, I need to figure this um, monomer out because... It works for some brands, but for others, it just makes it super hard to work with. So hopefully I can, you know, get some different monomer that doesn't smell super bad because that's my only issue is that my household does not like the smell of monomer. And that's what's keeping me from actually being able to do acrylic. So that's why I actually started even with the Mia Secret monomer, which I love, but like I said, for a lot of acrylic brands, it makes it super hard to work with, and it makes it like, I don't know, like it sticks to my brush and makes things super like gummy. I don't know how else to explain it. It's just like super sticky and yeah. So <laughs> I know this is not the best acrylic application, but I just wanted to show you guys you know my progress and I know this application is not perfect at all whatsoever but I just wanted to keep it in so that you guys can see that you just have to trust the process and I showed you the three first nails that I did and they look a little wonky yes I know but like I said trust the process your application does not have to be absolutely a one always you know what I mean but you know that is definitely the goal, but you can always fix it. Just wanted to let you guys know, you can always fix it. Like I said, trust the process. Trust the process, because as you guys can see, these first three nails were absolutely horrendous. Horrendous. But, surprisingly, 
This is one of my favorite sets. Like the shaping process and just like I said, watching Portia and her videos definitely helped me with my shaping because there's no way. There is no way that these nails would have came out this smooth. I am super proud of these nails because like I said, I haven't been really doing a lot of acrylic nails, even from when I started. I never really gave myself a shot with acrylic because like I said, I have kids and my husband and they just do not like the smell of monomer. So I've never really gave myself a shot with acrylic. I've always done stuff with gel and you know, stuff like that. So this is, yeah, I'm, I'm just super proud of this progress. I know it's not perfect, like I said, but practice makes progress and that is what I'm going to be trying to continue to do. So yeah, I did leave the shaping and stuff. Like I said, it is in real time and it did not take me that long, surprisingly. So yeah, hope you guys are enjoying this video and I hope that I'm not totally jacking up this voiceover because I'm definitely not gonna keep redoing it. I'm sorry, you guys. So yeah, because it is, it is a lot. Like people think it's so easy and it's definitely not, definitely not. So here I am still filing my little wonky nails. Um, once I got to like the last two nails, like I said, I did switch out to not polish. So those weren't that bad. Those I did not have to do much filing and I'm super proud of that. So yeah, like I said, trust the process, you guys. Practice, practice, practice. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to leave you guys with a little bit of music and I will come back once I gather all my thoughts and what I want to say so I do not drive you guys insane.
So as you guys can see, I am using a red iguana buffer. I am so in love with them. They are still having their 90% um, off sale for anything that they have left. So if you guys want to run and grab something, you guys better do it now before they all sell out. As um, you guys know, they do have that 90% off sale until everything is gone like sold out they are trying to make space for new um inventory so yeah make sure you guys go run and grab something if you guys need anything because it is an awesome deal 90 percent off you cannot beat that so now i am going in with a safety bit i got off Amazon in a kit. I believe it's an Eduviges kit. If I'm saying that right, hopefully I am. But I'm going to carefully go around the cuticle area. And I know my nails look a little crazy and dry, so please don't come for me for that. But yeah. I wish I knew how to speed up like certain parts of your video, like not the whole clip, because that's the only option that I have is to speed up the whole entire video and I, I just want to you know speed up certain parts so yeah bear with me while I figure this editing stuff out because it is definitely not easy and it is very time consuming so I give it up to everyone who edits their videos and all that good stuff because it's definitely not easy but yeah I wanted to give Portia a shout out thank you so much for everything you do girl I know I tell you all the time but your designs are so fire and we need to wake these people up because mm -hmm. there is no way you need to have way more subscribers because them views you be getting is absolutely ridiculous so yeah like I said we need to be waking them up and congratulations on almost reaching 20k as always, anyone I have mentioned in the video or anything I have mentioned in the video will always be in the description box. If I do forget to put anything in the description box, just let me know and I will always, you know, respond and let you know where I got anything it is you are interested in from, as well as following anyone that I have mentioned. I will always include that down below so that you guys can show them some love and support. So here I am showing you guys what they look like so far and I will be using not polished matte top coat for this set. I absolutely love not polished products. They are a little bit pricey but they are definitely worth it. Like I believe that they are one of those brands that are absolutely amazing and you must have. Like not polished is definitely a must have. As you guys can see, I somewhat did figure out how to speed up certain parts of the video. So yeah, bear with me with that. I'm super excited to be finally getting certain things done that I want to do, like voiceovers and, you know, certain parts about editing. But here I am getting into the line work. And yeah, this was super simple, but very time consuming. Like... Of course, I want to fix up and crisp up those lines now that I'm looking at them. But yeah, I am not loving these nails because it is a Porsche recreation. I wanted them to be like, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Like, yeah, you guys just don't know. But I do like them. I just, I just don't love them. Like, I am super proud of this set and all of that good stuff but i'm just not loving them like they're just not giving me porsche vibes they're just not so yeah stay tuned till the end so you guys can see what they look like i'm going to leave you guys with some music and i will be back <laughs>
Make sure you guys are cleaning up anything that gets on your skin because that can cause any type of allergic reaction. I have had that happen to me before and trust me, it is not fun. So please, if you guys ever get any type of product on your skin, please wipe it, wipe it off immediately as soon as you can because you do not want any allergic reactions. So next I will be going in with a not polished reflective gel in the color Galactic Babe as well as the 9mm brush from Dev's Nail Shop. I will link her down below as well. She has some amazing brushes for like character art and stuff like that. I cannot wait to get everything on her site. She is absolutely amazing as well so please go check her out and show her some love and support. Also use code Naomi if you wanted to save some coins on that. As usual, I will link everything down below in the description box and please remind me if I have not done that because sometimes I do forget. So, you know, I am only human. If I do forget anything, please let me know what you are interested in and I will definitely send you the link, give you any codes and any of that good stuff. Now going in with my not polished gem glue, I will be applying all my stones. I did originally start with the Dulé Bling Gel, but I eventually switched out to the gem glue because I don't have that much left. And I also did not use that big huge cluster that I wanted to use. So yeah, you will see that in the video. Now you guys can see I started with this beautiful stone which eventually I did not end up using because it was not it's not a flat um, stone. If anyone knows of any flat stones that are that big, like any good big flat stones, because most of the time I find them that they are not they're not flat. They are used for like clusters and stuff like that. But I really want some beautiful big stones like this that are flat back. If anyone knows of any good places where I can find some, please let me know down below. Thank you so much in advance. But yeah, I end up switching this out, which you guys will see in the video.
Okay, so here, as you guys can see, I was struggling with that one charm because it was so heavy and the not polished gem gel is amazing, but it's kind of slippery, so it, it, it does not work for like super heavy charms. I would use the Zule cluster gel for this, but I definitely need to get me some more because I am almost all out, so I'm trying to save the little bit that I have. Here I use a little dotting tool for any little spaces that I want any like gem glue to go on, especially on matte nails, even though you will see that I eventually ended up just redoing the whole entire matte top coat because I did not like how um, some of the nails had some residue from the gem glue and it made it look, you know, shiny. So I ended up going through every single nail and redoing the matte top coat. And then of course I also did redo the outline with the shiny top coat, even though I did not want to at first, but then I realized that I used reflective gel. So I might as well have, yeah. I wish I could speed this up a little bit more, but I noticed when I started to speed up certain parts, like my voiceovers were not matching, so I had to redo that. Well, undo the speeding up part. So I know, now I know that I have to speed up the video before I do my voiceovers. Duh. Okay, so here now, as you can see, uh, obviously it did not fit because I was cutting these nails all types of ways and the last three nails I cut too short. Bummer. And sorry about the smacking. Now I do see what Portia and Paige be talking about. You definitely do be smacking a lot when you're doing voiceover. So if I, you hear me smacking a lot, I am so sorry. Yeah. But now that I did mention Paige, please go check her out. She is new to YouTube. Well, she's not new, she's done YouTube before, but she is basically coming back. So please go check her out, show her some love and support. I will put her somewhere on the screen, as well as link her down below. Please go show her some love and support. You guys will love her. She is absolutely amazing and so funny, you guys. She is hilarious. I hope you guys are enjoying this bling part. This is my very favorite part. I, these nails are growing on me. They are, they, they are beautiful, don't get me wrong, but I was just, I wanted it to be way better than this. So I'm definitely going to be redoing this with the gold. I Unfortunately, the reason I did not do gold was because I just don't have any gold stones. And that's probably what threw me off. That's probably why I'm not really loving these, but they are growing on me. They are gorgeous, but yeah, like I said, I will be redoing these again once I get some gold stones and yeah. And there I was just admiring the shape. I have never got any smooth nails like this, like perfectly. I mean, they're not perfect, but they are perfect to me because listen, yeah. My nails be looking all types of lumpy and bumpy. So I was super proud of these nails. They were super nice and smooth, almost very crisp. So again, thank you so much, Portia.
I hope you guys are liking this video so far. Again, please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And of course, let me know what it is you guys would like to see from me. If you guys would like to see any videos like this again, if it's too long, you know, any type of feedback would be amazing. Please keep positive vibes only. I take you know, constructive criticism, not no stupid comments, please. I got a couple of um, dumb comments. So yeah, like I said, pos positive vibes only over here. Thank you. Here I am trying to carefully go over with the mat again because of the little spots that I did not like that were still shiny from the glue residue. You will not see me do every single nail because it was pretty tedious as you guys already can tell. So I did do most of them off camera. I just did show you guys that I did redo the matte top coat on these nails just to cover up all the residue. And if you get any matte top coat on any of your gems, please go over it with a um, brush with some alcohol on it so they, they do not lose their shine. And of course, remember to use some alcohol and a lint-free wipe to go over all your stones to make them extra shiny. I did that off of camera. Just to make sure you get all that glue and extra residue off of the gems and all that good stuff so that they look super awesome and shiny. Right now, they are not looking super awesome and shiny because I did not do that step yet. <laughs> I believe in this clip, I did. And I'm super sad that my um, stones look like they are scratched up. So I did not realize that. So I kind of want to change them out. But yeah, it kind of bothers me a little bit. This is my House of Kings and Queens brush. I did not show this entire brush in the video, but I have shown it in other videos. So if you would like to check those mm -hmm. out as well. I also do have a code with her and I will put it somewhere on the screen as well as in the description down below. And yeah, you guys, this video is almost ending. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe I did a voiceover video. I am super proud and excited. And yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next one. Remember always more love, less hate. Bye loves. Enjoy the rest of the video. This is where I was debating if I wanted to do the outline shiny or not, but I ended up going through and doing all of them. So yeah, enjoy. So this is the final look. I hope you guys like it 
and enjoyed this video. Thank you all so much for all your love and support. And I will see you guys in my next one. Remember, always more love. Let's hate. Bye, loves. Love ya.